Well, folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. Again, you're watching Alpha Investments. We report the news, the price swings, the pops, the drops, the bamboozles, and everything. Today, per more patron requests and you all out there, uh, this is an update video, very short and simple to the point, on the Ravnica remaster, which came out January of 2024. At the very beginning of this year, when everybody still believed that things were just awful, it was coming in the tail end of the bottom of the market, which was September, October of last year, and nobody had realized the market had really turned yet. So this is a pretty major milestone. We have another new Magic product here. We have the Ravnica Remaster Collector Boxes. All-time high. Just broke $300 a collector box for the first time ever. Not even including tax. Okay, so Rudy's opinion on this. I don't understand what happened, Rudy. Blah, blah, blah. Again, we made a video on Ravnica Remastered about 45 days ago. Kind of a follow-up here today. No, this is not being driven by speculation. No investors and evil people and a bunch of goofballs out there like Rudy. Um, no, they are not buying out the market and all this stuff. This is, again, I know it's tough to accept and it's going to take time. This is an organically moving, slow grinding up market. This is the healthiest style of market movement, recovery, cycle, anything you want to call it. This is the healthiest market conditions we can have okay we just did a video hopefully in the last week you guys have seen it we did a boulders gate collectors breaking 200 a box we got fallout collectors over 500 a box we've got literally look at, look at the price of the master set reprints and everything look at look at the lord of the rings special was it over five something it depends when you watch it 500 plus tax 530 i mean round to remastered same thing round to remastered had a severe print run reduction then A, nobody believed that it was actually true. Everybody thought Rudy was bamboozling on those news reports. B, nobody was buying because, again, what cards in Ravnica have value, right? There's nothing there. So nobody was buying it. Number three, people thought serialized cards were a gimmick and the market was going to reject them. They're super cheap and anyway. So last minute, as we all know, print run was slashed massively for Rav Remaster Collectors, therefore creating easy serialized cards to pull some people with an average of at least one serialized card per case on a large mass scale with many patrons and people reported i had one patron bought a case of 24 actually has six serialized cards in a case of 24 I had another patron who bought a six pack of rava uh, collected again at release i don't have any for sale don't ask me and they, i think they had two or three in a case of six and again well, they have a set number of serialized cards. you got to divide it evenly, whatever you decide to print. Well, if you cut the print run last minute, well, guess what? It condenses it, and you're going to have a higher percentage pull rate. So, that's what's going on with that. I do not believe this is a speculative bubble. And I know that's a hot take that makes people implode, cabbage heads. They just roll out tumbleweed guy. I, I Again, you can be angry when I'm saying all you want. The data right now shows solid, slow, consistent buying patterns in the open market. No major price swings in literally over the last, from January release to here we are in May. J Let me help you guys out for Rudy math, Rudy dumb dumb math. January, February, March, April, I lost count. May five months, $300 price point already. Again, I don't know why I'm the only person that is bullish on new magic. Well, Rudy, you have to because you have to pump all of us. Yeah, your sister is cute. But I'm, look at the data. Like, people just refuse. Like, I don't know how long and how many things have to hit all-time highs and recover. Look at the older products. Is anybody looking at Commander Masters 1? Holy smoke. Is anybody looking at, like, the Master Set reprints? The Modern Masters 2017, the Ultimate Masters, Double Masters, Double Masters 2020, Double Masters 2022? I don't know, there's a ton of them. Like, the prices across the board. Commander Masters. And uh, it, it's just, it's incredible and like you know shill rudy i guess just hidden rudy rudy's works for watsy you guys know i don't work for watsy and it's like this is incredible it's like the same thing you know i have i have another video coming where people ask me well rudy what do you think of the dow jones and the stock market all-time high same thing i'm telling you all right now the market continues to grind upwards giggity and people are just missing it because nobody believes it's real. And honestly, a lot of it's not real. Everything's the matrix. Everything's fairy dust. Yes, government intervention and bamboozle and propping up and shadiness and money printing. We all know that's how the world is now. Nothing I can do. I'm a dude in a basement in Florida who saves up for a haircut. And I sell cardboard to you all, which makes me 
evil basement dweller. And it's just, that's just... Anyways, back to, before I end this short video, I'm just blown away that Ramnica Remastered was like at a low of like 229 at release. And within five or technically four months from release date, from release date, from the 220s to, let's just say 230s, 230s to 300 before tax. That's like 320 shipped right now. So from almost 220s to 320, that's incredible. <laughs> Like that, like holy shit, man! Like this is insane. That's all. I don't know if anyone gives a shit, but there you go. There's another crazy price spike. Nobody cares.